Hi, my name is Harry Kanasa and I'm the Chair of the Education and Professional Studies Health and Safety Committee. And welcome to Griffith Uni. So as part of your studies, you'll be using a variety of spaces around campus. So this is a very short video on how to stay safe in those various spaces. So for example, you'll be attending lectures and seminars. Now in each of the rooms, you'll find a plaque like this. And that plaque uh, states there the capacity of the room. And it's really important that we stick to that because it is legislated by law, but also we want to ensure that we can evacuate you safely in the case of an emergency. So it's really important that uh, we stick to those size limits um, and then when you enrol in seminars, we actually stick to the number of people allocated in the room. So this means um, that we ensure that everybody has a seat and that nobody is actually sitting in the aisles or sitting on the floor or staying at the back of the room. Yeah? Right here, another thing that we need to make sure that exits and aisles are actually kept clear. So take a moment now to look around the room that you're in to identify the exits. So those exits should not be blocked and also the passageways to those exits are kept clear. So a lot of students uh, will have chargers and uh, phone chargers, so we ask that you don't drape those over uh, walkways and you keep those clear. So if you're charging your phone over near the wall, just plug it in over at the wall and just keep an eye on it. And also keep uh, bags and belongings underneath your chair. Okay. Uh, moving on to evacuation tones. So what I'd like you to do now is to look at the ceiling of the room that you're in and you should identify uh, two sets of lights, an amber light and a red light. Now, they actually mean different things when they are flashing. So when you see the amber light flashing or if when you hear this tone, That mean, that is the alert tone and that means a prepare for evacuation. So gather up your belongings, shut down any equipment and prepare for further instructions. When the tone changes to this tone and the red light flashes, then that is the signal for you to follow the instructions of your instructor and to evacuate the building in an orderly manner. So as you evacuate, um, leave all your belongings where they are, but then you will need to assemble and follow your instructor to an uh, emergency evacuation point. So as you're moving around campus, have a look for those green signs because there will be a number uh, of those signs around campus. Now, each of the buildings at the entrances will have evacuation plans like uh, those that you can see on the screen. So as you're coming into a building, just try and spot one of those because it has the layout of the floor and how to get out safely out of that building. And also in the, uh, the bottom of the map, you'll notice there that it has a small insert of the campus showing where the evacuation point is for that building. If you do become ill or injured during the course of a lecture or a seminar, please do notify your instructor immediately. He'll be able to either administer first aid uh, there and then, or to notify a first aid officer for that building to uh, attend. Okay. Excellent, moving on to food and drink. Now we ask that you don't uh, bring food into the room, but that you consume food outside. Now, the rules have changed a little bit um, in terms of drinks. So if you do bring a drink, a water bottle or a coffee into a lecture or a seminar, we do ask that you have it inside an enclosed container. That way that spills are minimised. Okay. Uh, at Griffith, we are a smoke-free campus. That means that there is to be no smoking, not only on the, in the buildings, but also on the grounds. Now, having said that, there are designated smoking and vaping areas around the campus. So have a look out for sandwich boards, like uh, you can see there, which actually show the location of where smoking is allowed. And if you are smoking cigarettes, we do ask that you uh, dispose of the cigarette butts appropriately in the bins provided. So um, now your lecturers and your instructors will obviously do an environmental scan when they come into the room, but um, if you notice any damaged furniture or surfaces or PowerPoints or even equipment, do notify your instructor so that we can actually get it fixed. Yeah? Um, so, and also think about your environment as well because it, you, you don't learn effectively when it's too hot, when it's too noisy, when it's too dark or, or if there are odours, um, uh, uh, bad odours in the air. So please do notify your instructors if the environment is not quite right. 
in terms of rubbish, um, treat it like you would a national park. So whatever you bring in, you actually take out. Now we've got a, uh, there should be bins at the entrance of each of the rooms. There's also bins all around campus. And if you are drinking coffee out of a disposable cup, then we have specialised bins, like you can see in the, in, in the photo there, where you can dispose of those appropriately. Yeah. Um, in terms of security, do keep your valuables with you um, at all times. So for example, during a break, if you decide to go to uh, the bathroom, then we do ask you to, to take your valuables as well. As you're moving around campus at any time, if there's an unsafe situation that you find yourself in, then there are various points where you can actually contact uh, security and they'll be able to appear. If you have a night lecture, then we strongly recommend um, and uh, that you do contact security um, who will be able to provide an escort back to your vehicle or your transport mode. Okay? So that's pretty much it from me. If there are any other issues that you identify or you don't feel comfortable speaking to your instructor about, then there's a phone number for you for, there for you to ring. Um, so that will go through to health and safety. Um, there's an email where you can email them as well. And there's my email as well as the, the chair of the committee with who you can contact. Okay, excellent. Enjoy the rest of your studies. And I'm sure um, if you're in science or maths, I will be seeing you in one of my courses. Bye for now.